Hello, and welcome to another featured interview from PT on the Net and Fit Pro. We're here in sunny Seaside in San Diego County. My guest here today is adjunct professor of functional neuroscience at the University of San Francisco, Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor is also the director of the PT Academy, the finest certification in the Southern Hemisphere. Paul, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Lovely to be here. Now, Paul, you have a vast array of knowledge, but what you specialize in, if I'm correct, is neuroscience. Yeah, more, more, more the functional neuroscience, how neuroscience research relates to everyday life, particularly with personal trainers and in the realm of behavior modification. Okay, so give us your philosophy on the necessity or the application of functional neuroscience. Well, for me, it's fundamental, and, and I may be biased, but the, I mean, the reason I got there was because as a, an accredited and practicing nutritionist and physiologist, I realized that I could give people the best program that was out there, and I would give them a nutrition program with them, I would talk to them about stress management, all of that stuff, and still, it, in some, with quite a few people, they didn't succeed. So, Wait a second. Hold on, though. So, as trainers, our job fundamentally is to identify information, do the proper assessment, design a program, implement that program. If somebody doesn't take the tools that we give them, mm -hmm. they just simply lack discipline. Isn't there, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, is there? Uh, there's lots that we can do about it. I think our job as trainers is, is more global than that. Our job as trainers is to help people to achieve their goals. The, uh, the industry is changing. The days of somebody just writing a program and standing there and giving you encouragement, they're gone. People come to us with much more complex issues, it's a much more complex world, and, and often they're really looking for a personal trainer to, to, to help them because they cannot do it themselves. That's why they have a personal trainer. Now, what would you say to trainers who would say to you, our job is basically, again, to understand our science and give people solutions, and that's pretty much the end of it. And if somebody failed, it was a program design implementation failure or an assessment and modification failure. What would you say to that? Well, that may well be true, but is it any use standing up there and saying, this is their fault that they didn't pass? Maybe we, we all know that, but Good I point. think our job as trainers is to help them and to get as much knowledge that we can and, and as much application as we can to help our clients achieve our goals because that's going to grow our business. If Mrs. Nurkin Furkin achieves her goals and she comes back, it, she, what's she going to do? If she loses all her goals, well, she's going to tell all her friends to come and train with this trainer because he's great. Let's take Mrs. Nurkin Furkin, okay? Because I used to train Nurkin Furkin before you trained Nurkin Furkin. <laughs> so Nurkin Furkin's, I just like saying Nurkin Furkin. <laughs> Can't say it too many times in a row though. <laughs> Why is she, like so many other people though, and where they're always striving yet never arriving at the attainment of their goal. What causes so many people to come in with a goal and fail? Two, two parts to that. One is that they do not find their main driver, the thing that really is going to drive and, and instill that commitment. This whole thing about mot motivation, motivation is temporary. We need an underlying drive and, and everybody has it. It's what Anthony Roberts calls your why. Find your why, you'll find your way. 